everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. We saved the best one for last. What I have for you today, we just did four really cool guitars here uh, at uh, Golden Bear Studios, and uh, I'm really, really excited about demoing this guitar for you. This is a 1965 Gibson ES-125 TCD. Now, what does TCD stand for? It's an ES-125, which is uh, what you see in this body shape. Uh, the T stands for thin line. Uh, they make one that's thicker. Uh, I've had thicker ones uh, that are also very cool, uh, but this is the thin line one. The C stands for the cutaway. Now, just telling Brian, uh, this is just like my guitar I had when I was like, uh, let's see, 12 or 13, I got my first real uh, guitar, and it was a Gibson 125, double pickup, just like this, but it did not have the cutaway, and this is the one I always lusted after, was I wanted a cutaway so bad, but the C stands for cutaway, and of course the D stands for the dual uh, pickups, so that's what your uh, letters stand for behind the ES-125. Uh, there's not much uh, to talk about, uh, the guitar is absolutely gorgeous, uh, we're just talking about the finish. Uh, it's like, you know, how do they get that orange finish on there? Well, they don't. It fades. Uh, this beautiful um, orange color on here uh, has faded from this. It was all this beautiful red, and it fades out after time into that gorgeous, gorgeous yellow and and uh, orange in here, and in different they all seem to fade differently depending upon the, the UVs that they pick up. This one obviously had spent time out of its case. The ones that stay in their case all the time and don't get played, you'll see them, they're just all red, which is also very cool. However, this one had been exposed to the sunlight and uh, it was played a lot. Uh, uh, we'll show you some stuff on here that will uh, explain that, but it has been out of its case, which is good. Uh, a couple things I want to point out, it, uh, the reason I'm saying it's been played a lot is there's great finish wear uh, on the back of the neck, right in here where the thumb goes, back in here in your fifth position, uh, there's a little scratch in here, I'm not sure what that came from, but you've got uh, finger marks here on the fifth fret, the fifth, uh, I'm sorry, the, the third fret, fifth fret, and the ninth fret. Uh, so I know this guy played a lot in the key of E. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, it's very obvious that he did, and uh, it's very cool to see that on this guitar. Now, this was a single owner guitar that had uh, uh, that owned this before it came to me. Uh, it was passed down to his nephew, that's the story. Uh, it showed up in a shop, uh, needed some work done to it, and uh, one of our uh, uh, luthiers here in town called me and says, hey Mike, I'm working on this guitar, I have a couple questions about it. I helped him uh, uh, with his questions on on uh, uh, the guitar, uh, but he said, uh, you know, are you interested in buying it? And it's like, yes. So uh, he told uh, uh, the young man who didn't play guitar, he's not a young man, but uh, uh, the, the, the person who had the guitar contacted me, brought it over, uh, after Norm got done working on it, and uh, we made a deal. Uh, he says, I'm not a guitar player. I'd love to see you get in the hands of, of, a, of a good guitar player. I said, well, it will get resold for me, but I will make sure it gets to the hands of a great guitar player who will take nice care of it. Uh, it's all original. Uh, the the uh, Let's see, those are double-line uh, Cluson tuners. Uh, the original buttons are still on it. Uh, doesn't seem like there's any that have been uh, bent. Usually you get one or two that get bent, you know, it falls or something, and they, these things always seem to get bent. Those are not bent. Okay. It has the original nut on it, has the original frets. It's never been refretted, which uh, is surprising given the amount of wear on it. If it's been refretted, they did a marvelous, marvelous job. There is no indication at all uh, that this these frets had never been off this. It had been reset. Uh, I, you can see that here. There's a place right in here where you can see that they patched in some maple uh, and uh, Norm repaired some uh, damage down in here uh, and, uh, and did some work on it and uh, just did a great job. You never know he was ever in it. Uh, and uh, so the neck angle is wonderful. But it's just, it's all original. I mean, it just it's just incredible. Uh, Brian was just saying, is that the original pick guard? I go, yeah, it sure is. Uh, original pick guard, original P90s, original knobs. These knobs are worth a fortune. Try to buy these now. I mean, just the knobs alone are, are just ridiculous. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, bridge uh, is original. The tailpiece is original. Uh, case is original. We'll get to that in a minute. 
and uh, everything is original on this guitar from the day it was sold. Uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful guitar. Uh, the P90s on this guitar sound wonderful. <laughs> position. What a cool guitar. Another one I should never sell, but I'm going to share. So you also get, check it out, this really cool case. Now, uh, the case, um, you know, I, I spent some time with my glue gun, made sure all this binding was back on it. It was, it was coming off. The case was really, it needed help. Um, and uh, however, it's the original case. You do not want to lose track of this. It goes with that guitar. It's been with the guitar since 1965. You do not want to lose this case. Now, I'll tell you, the back uh, leather strap is, is off. I did not replace that. I left it alone. Uh, but the other two lashes are on it. Looks like this one has been jerry-rigged to hang on there. It, it's kind of cool the way it works, so I left it alone. Uh, your hinges, your latches are all on here. You get the original handle. Uh, fortunately, the interior is gorgeous. Uh, the uh, Gibson uh, metal plate was uh, in the accessory box, which, by the way, is here also. I uh, re-glued it on the case where it belongs, so it's on your neck restrict on your neck support uh, where it belongs. So that's on there. Uh, plush is still very, very nice. Like I said, I think he took as nice a care of the case as he did the uh, guitar, but it's. A cardboard case, you know, it's from 1965. There's going to be some things that come apart. So please be careful with this case. Put it under your bed. Get yourself a nice hard case to travel with that gorgeous 1965 Gibson 125. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful instrument that is. 
whoever gets it is just going to be very happy with me. So check it in all of our really, really cool guitars we had this month. Gosh, we had some cool guitars, had some from Japan, some from the U.S. It's, uh, we just had a great time uh, here at Golden Bear Studios this, uh, this month. And uh, you know what? I've got five ready to go next month already. So uh, check it out and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber to Lawman Guitars, you're missing out because every time you subscribe, you get five of these every month that come showing up in your inbox and you go, hey, more guitars from Lawman. So check it out. So if not, go to Lawman Guitars' uh, uh, Facebook page if you'd rather do that. We're there with uh, Lawman Guitars and Lawman Guitars fan page. Got lots of cool stuff in there. And uh, also go to our uh, website, www.lawmanguitars.com. If you're a customer, want to buy one of these guitars, go to lawmanguitars.com or give us a call. I'd uh, love to hear from you, answer any questions you have. You, you pick up the phone and call, you're going to hear from me. I'm the one who answers the phone. So uh, love to hear from you. Love to make some deals. Uh, appreciate you watching my demos. Appreciate all your support. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. Mm -hmm.